Let's get some EU reaction uh, to this story now. Our correspondent in Brussels is Dave Keating. He's on the line for us right now. Dave, um, what's the EU reaction been to this news from Belfast? Well, the European Commission reminded the UK government that this is not a matter for Belfast. This is a matter for the UK government, which signed the divorce deal treaty and is assigned with making sure that it's followed. Uh, now, the Commission didn't want to get into hypotheticals about what happens if those checks stop. Uh, and indeed, today we have reports from the ground that the checks are still ongoing, whatever the Northern Irish Agriculture Minister said. Uh, later today, Commission Vice President Maros Shevchevich We'll have a meeting with UK Foreign Secretary Liz Truss, who also said, like the Northern Ireland Secretary, that this was a matter for Northern Ireland. He will surely disabuse her of that notion. Now, across the street here at the European Council, which is made up of all the national governments, they've been willing to go a bit further in their criticism of that. Irish Foreign Minister uh, Simon Coveney uh, said this was a, a violation of international law and extremely unhelpful, given that they have made some uh, progress here in trying to lessen those checks. Just a reminder, this isn't a minor provision of the Brexit deal. It was the essential ingredient that enabled Boris Johnson to get a deal done where Theresa May has fa had failed. Theresa May always refused to countenance a border in the Irish Sea. Johnson's deal put one in the Irish Sea in order to avoid a land border on the island of Ireland. That's the whole reason the EU signed it. The EU wouldn't have signed it without that guarantee of border checks in the Irish Sea. Dave, um, elections are scheduled for May. Now, opponents of the DUP says this is little more than an electioneering stunt. Um, in, is there any evidence of that? Because, as you say, the checks are still going ahead despite the demands of the minister. Yeah, that's the question people in Brussels here are asking. They don't know if this is a political stunt uh, ahead of that election in May or if the agriculture minister is serious about this. They especially don't know that because there's no signs that those checks have actually stopped. Uh, they know that the DUP is really in trouble in the polls. Uh, people are uh, people on their side are, are angry about the protocol. They're angry about the way the DUP has handled this. And so it would make political sense that the DUP would want to make Make this pronouncement, particularly for something that it is not actually the one who is legally responsible for enforcing, that that's the UK government in London. Uh, right now, polls are showing that Sinn Féin, the uh, party that wants unification with Ireland, uh, could end up as the largest party uh, in Northern Ireland after these elections. But of course, the elections are now in some bit of uncertainty because of this resignation today. So Northern Irish politics are very much in play here. That's the big context in which this is taking place. And I think partly the reason why the Commission didn't want to go too far today in condemning this because they're not sure this is even serious. Dave Keating, live in Brussels. Thanks very much.